Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, pff, it was a dead girl, of course. Okay, um... Is it really fucking... He's awfully worried. <laughs> well, then again, everyone's worried. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just gonna do it just in case, but... Can't be him, can it? Yakuya, it's possible you could have found out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access to classified government documents or internal police records. Plus, you'd already looked through the genocide jack file before this all happened, hadn't you? You're being silent about this. Are you saying Mr. Togami did it? I'm not saying that exactly. I'm just saying he could be very suspicious at the same time as well. The theory of genocide jack being the killer so hard was... Because he wanted to pin the crime on her. D that feels like a very amateurish Yakuya. If you're really trying to pin the crime on her by doing this elaborate setup, that feels very, very amateurish of you. If you're if you're gonna do that, then why not go all out and do the exact same thing? But well, whatever, who knows? Not only that, but why? Oh, okay. Oh, he rearranged the scene to disguise it and make it look like I put my stamp on it. There's still one evidence that contradicts this, though. Maybe she actually did do it and she's using some sort of reverse psychology and it turns out oh no it's actually her that did it and we all died because we accused the wrong person. Well, Akia, what's your response? I'm still suspicious that those two are definitely the culprit. So but then again I can't really make a decisive decision just yet. So it's either be definitely between Toko or Byakuya or Genocide Jill in this case. I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. Then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Surely you must have an answer. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> it was as soon as you figure out the game and the library and all that shit, right? Hmm. Looking back and thinking about it now, the way you were acting right Maybe you were Genocide Jack! And this Genocide Jill was just your pawn or- Oh, fucking- Maybe you're- How the fuck are you in cahoots with each other? Interesting. In the locker rooms? They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Without you- Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? But since you're a guy... I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? Well, I didn't even remember all of that at all. The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said we should check the girls' locker room. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. On the contrary, there's something very strange. Okay, then. What's so strange about it? Go ahead. Share with the rest of the class. There was a clear contradiction in what Byakuya just said. I need to make it clear to everyone. Because, okay, so his testimony so far is because he, the murder victim, was a woman. Clearly, we need to go to the girls' locker room and check it out. A new element has been at motherfucker. Really? Next, we're gonna we are going to add something called a truth flashback. If you aim at a weak spot and hold the triangle button, or if you shut up, then you'll memorize that weak spot. This memorized phrase can only be shot once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change the truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. Fucking hell, all right. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. Okay. If you don't if you don't seem to have an an have the answer or a lie or contradiction in your loaded bullets, it might be wise to memorize a different weak spot and use that to make your case. When is the best chance for a flashback? Well, you'll just have to use your keen wits, won't you? <laughs> In this case, though, I will say that if you don't use a flashback, you won't be refuting anything. Well, then, good luck and have fun. Okay. New mechanic into this game. Holy shit, they just add more mechanics over and over again. Alright. Welcome to file number two. Is that only our singular bullet? Okay, just one bullet. Okay. <laughs> Fuck your face! Oh, you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. But he was acting weird. Wow. If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room, you absolutely take it. That's a natural reaction for any guy. Or lesbian. The victim was Chihiro, who was a girl. 
them. So of course I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. What's so strange about that? You wish you'd taken me with you. <laughs> uh. Hearing Byakuya's comments about Chihiro being a girl, I realize there's a clear contradiction there. Because it doesn't make sense how he could have known before we'd even found it. Wait, was... When he said that, did we... Find out about the mur... Wait, did we find out about the dead body beforehand? Or after? Okay, I need to make the contradiction clear, alright. So, you said Byakuya was acting kinda weird before we found the body. That's a whole triangle, okay, so that's one prompt. If you're presented with the opportunity to check out, that's a natural reaction for victim was Chihiro. So, of course, I would say... There's really only two, then. ...girls' locker room first. There was no time for... Pointless distraction. What's so strange you wish you'd taken me with you? I have an idea. The victim was Chihiro. Who was so of course I would suggest the victim was Chihiro. <laughs> really? That's my bullet? Was distractions. Um, that's not it. So you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before he found the body, but he was acting weird. If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girl's blood, a natural reaction for victim was so of course I would suggest there was no time for what's so strange. Oh yeah, I forgot I could also use the right trigger to uh, slow down time if I want to. I keep forgetting about that for some reason. Okay. So you said Byakuya was acting kind of weird before we found the body. Before we found the dead body. He was acting weird. Before we found the body. Okay. If you're presented with the opportunity, maybe that's it. Actually. That's a natural reaction. The victim was Chihiro. Oh shit! Oops, wrong button. Uh, triangle. Who was it? No, that's wrong. We found the body after we did that. That's my guess, at least. I'll tell you what's so strange about that, because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. Huh? You're still not, you're not gonna deny it? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead, show us. What's with Byakuya's attitude? It's like he doesn't even care. I've got him cornered, but he's acting like it. Well, your evidence is very circumstantial. Maybe, uh, whatever. Matter. You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. There is more to it. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. Oh? Proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? The differences between this case and the other Genocide Jack murders. The evidence that proves Byakuya is responsible is hidden in there? What could it be? Oh shit, okay, okay, here we go again. So I can't use my original bullet if I take cover of another book. Library desk lamp. Okay. Yes, he's the only one that has access to it? The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? Uh, please explain it again! I use my very own special scissors. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. But Chihiro was suspended here. It was some kind of rope. Was it not? It was. was. Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Have you guys not seen that? Is where'd you get it from? I've never seen that rope before in my life. That is obviously wrong. There we go. No, that's wrong. That's clearly obviously wrong. Actually. I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Because, you see, that rope, or should I say, that extension cord? What? An extension cord? Yakuya, you've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? And the same extension cord that was in the library all this time went missing after the murder. 
And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Byakuya must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. Aside from aside aside from another person just walking up to the library room and taking oh whatever <laughs> we'll just let that slide away. Really, what do you think? Then your conclusion is something like this: I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? Yeah, we still have that one evidence that fucks over everything, though. The girls' locker room. Remember that, Makoto. He's doing it again. He's totally calm, not con- not- He's totally calm, totally unconcerned. As if he's not even involved. Wait, not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. Again, that locker room. Disagree with not disagreeing. <laughs> you shut up, you're, you're still not off the hook just yet. Oh, is a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? I... I think we need to talk about this a little more. Huh? Do we really need to? We've already decided who did it. Not yet. I know, but still. Again, like, it's always flip floppy floppy and flop with this There's shit. something that's still bothering me. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girls' locker room, then disguised my crime. Again! Everyone should know about this. Oh, you should know about the fucking system about where you have to. You, uh. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Wait. What was that just now? Something's not right. Chihiro's body was definitely found in the girls' locker room, but does that mean. Can I really just accept what Byaki just said as the truth? No, I don't think so. There's definitely something wrong about what he said. No, that's not it. No, that's not it either. The scene of the crime. I got it. That's the one that's you really. You killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. She was found dead in the girls' locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. Yes, but they could have moved the fucking dead body. I mean, as soon as you fucking blunching them, they fall apart and you say, they don't just got them die in a crucifix or whatever, unless you manipulatively tortured them or something. How could the scene of the crime have been anywhere else? Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later, along with the rest of the murder scene. The rest of the murder scene? Oh shit, he's being worried now. Awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. I believe I do. Hey, Byakuya, did you just... Did you... Did I just take you off guard? Holy shit! When the story suddenly moved to the crime scene, Byakuya, who'd been so confident up until now, maybe Byakuya never even realized that the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere else. Hey! Don't just move on without permission! What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Evidence that shows the murder took place somewhere else. There was something... There was something that switched between the boys... Okay. There we go. No, first I have to prove this... Okay! So, I'm going up ahead too soon. Alright, at least I don't get a penalty for this one. So, are we really gonna assume that it's a fucking... Posters? Alright, whatever. I'll take my- Take my word for it, the posters were switched. The poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof is some posters? The poster in the girls' locker room was a picture of a big boob supermodel. But don't you think that's kind of strange? Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> hey, you could be true. It could be true, actually. I'm not gonna argue with that. Meanwhile... The boys' locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. And no one noticed this except for me, how? Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boys' locker room. 
But again, that, that kind of evidence is very superstitial. We need to ev provide the evidence of the coffee stain, Judge. So but again... That maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the lock. Okay, here we go. You know what I'm talking about. Right, Sakura? You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? While I was in the girls... <laughs> I do not like how she's flushing those scissors. Protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. No, it's not that the stain was scrubbed away. It was moved. And here... Here we go! I got it! So someone moved the carpet as well? The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Did we take a picture of this or something? Like, what's going on? Does that mean that the carpets were switched too? But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible. Don't you think? What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Huh? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? That is true. Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boys' locker room... How did she go in the boys' locker room? And how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? I don't know, maybe she's a dude? <laughs> I don't fucking know. To get into the locker rooms, you have to swap... Wait a, wait a minute. Across the card reader... Device. If she was a dude... That could explain why she's... Or Pete, or whatever. Huh. I'm gonna keep going. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. Does it say, like, specifically? <laughs> oh. It doesn't- I don't think it says specifically what's going on in Ultimate Programmer. No, there's really nothing. Okay. So, yeah, they didn't specify genders. But Jiro's handbook should have allowed her to access the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. No, she did have a way. And I can tell you what it was. Really? I highly doubt that. Shut up! I'm telling you, I know how she could have done it. She was a programmer. That could be a case as well, but... At the same time, why would she go to the boys' locker room? I can! Because she's a boy! I don't fucking know. Okay. Could she have gotten in the boys' locker room somehow? Oh yeah, I forgot. There's also the thing as well. Broken e-handbook. That's also... Could, that could also cause us to why, um... Is it really possible? Could Chikiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Yeah, she could have used, uh... Leon's. She must have hacked her e handbook. No, that's not it. Oh shit! Oops. Programmer, after all. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. There we go. What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Should I could get that thing? Theoretically, if Chihiro was able to use Leon's handbook, she could get into the boys' locker room. But we found out Leon's handbook in the main hall was no doubt was there. In which case... Oh yeah! Yeah, right, it's broken, so... Hold on. I'm talking about Leon... Oh shit, wrong button! Square! It's not square! It's triangle! There we go! Holy crap. I gotta remember, triangle, shoot! Triangle, shoot! No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. Well, then, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty impossible, huh? I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. <laughs> Lass, isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. 
Except they're both the exact same no. fucking thing! Borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Whatever. Hit the nip. Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked her, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst. You can't fix an e-handbook! The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring! So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... Maybe Mr. Nyagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. Unless she was a dude herself? I don't... Okay, then. That's really the only... For Biakria. <laughs> is that it, then? Jihiro was killed in the girls' locker room, and Byakuya is the only one who did it? Really? But still, I don't know what else I can do. Hold on a second. I agree with you, though. I think you're on the right track. What the... Oh, I finally! Some you defense! To open your mouth, and that's what you've got to say? There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? She did examine her body, so tell me, does she have a penis? Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. Out to the pool and into the boys. No, uh, yeah, there's no Gatling gun in. Yeah, there's no Gatling gun in the pool. It's only in. Okay. What? What are you talking about? Well, that could be it too. That, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, 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 wait! Just what do you think you're doing? Don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. <laughs> I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? She's actually bribing. I like you, Kyoko. Yeah, all right, then. I declare an official class trial recess. Huh? For real? Now, then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? All right. That's my prediction, is the fact that so before I even knew of what was going to happen, the class trial has been hold, put on hold. We'd add up to with Kyoko in the lead. And where she took, was, wa took us was... 